Rutgers University is one of America's oldest universities. It was founded in 1766, one of the original eight colonial colleges. The Dynex Center is a little bit younger than that. It was founded in the late 80s through a National Science Foundation nationwide competition for science and technology centers. Cicator Center is even younger than that. It was founded in a nationwide competition for Department of Homeland Security University Centers of Excellence dealing with data science. This is an academic institution. We try to develop general methods that are usable to solve problems other than the ones we start with. So in our case, we've worked uh, with uh, evacuation modeling and inspection modeling at stadiums, and now those have been applied more recently to uh, large uh, transportation facilities like the bus terminal in New York City. And uh, we've used the same ideas to uh, study inspection of containers as they arrive at the ports. So here we go from developing uh, ways to solve one problem to using math and computer science and statistics to solve other problems. My research broadly focuses on developing computational models of human behavior and how humans act and interact in high density situations such as crowds for example. We are uh, collaborating with a large number of faculty at Rutgers University to develop an end-to-end -end solution for reconstructing, simulating, analyzing and optimizing crowd dynamics at the Port Authority bus terminal. The first step in this process is to use state-of-the-art LiDAR technology to reconstruct the entire Port Authority bus terminal. We are then using advanced computer vision technology to be able to reconstruct the crowd and then finally using this reconstructed data as ground truth, we are developing computational models to be able to simulate the crowd in these virtual models. So we can use these tools to ask what if questions. For example, uh, how would the crowd flow be impacted if we were to change the layout of the building of the Port Authority bus terminal? And this allows us to even facilitate the design and uh, architectural layout of the bus terminal uh, without running expensive and often prohibitive human subject experiments even before the building was actually constructed. So at Cicada we've worked on developing uh, best practices for uh, stadium security. This has been for different DHS agencies, especially the Office of uh, Safety Act Implementation who deals with liability protection for uh, large entertainment venues that have uh, effective counterterrorism measures. One of our projects uh, regarding the stadium security has been in developing a mathematical model and simulation for venues to study their security screening process. At one particular uh, stadium venue, they were considering changing their security screening procedure from metal detecting wands to walk through metal detectors. And so we're able to actually use our simulator tool that we developed at Cicada to let them see how that would impact their patron throughput rate. And it turned out that actually their initial idea of how many metal detectors to acquire were actually far too few. So in the end, they actually had to defer their plan and acquire much more metal detectors down the road. One of the things that we've been researching over the last year or so is walk-through metal detectors in particular. And so the experiments look at how these metal detectors work indoors and outdoors, on what are the settings, um, you know, how do they perform with people walking through them with different metal test objects. So you look at different heights, different orientations on someone's body, and how does that impact detection depending on how you even walk. And we are presenting those results to different sports stadiums and even here at Rutgers to the Rutgers uh, police. So it's an exciting project. DIMEX is the Center for Discrete Math and Theoretical Computer Science. We were founded in 1989 as an NSF Science and Technology Center. We continue with our mission to catalyze and conduct research and education in discrete mathematics, theoretical computer science, and their related areas. My own personal area of research builds on some work with our partners at AT&T Labs and Princeton, looking at how you can take um, data from cell phone records. So the idea is that it's very useful to know where people concentrate, how they move throughout the course of the day, as not just as individuals, but as a population. 
Our work in particular and our contribution to that work was to add a layer of privacy in there. And so our work actually, in a very mathematically principled way, uh, inserted what's called differential privacy as a layer in the modeling uh, procedure uh, where you reduce the impact that any one individual's data has on the final outcome, and then we did some experimental work to validate that we were still getting good and useful results. Rutgers is really at the forefront of work in Homeland Security, and we are recognized in all the work we've already done, and it's very clear that there's a lot more to do, but we start from a great base.